Hey guys, welcome back to Never Tasted Better. If you guys are looking for a delicious brownie recipe, stop right here, don't go any farther. Today, I wanna to show you how to make some delicious salted caramel brownies. These brownies have a gooey center and they're loaded with chocolate. Let me take a bite and show you how good they are. Oh wow, that is chocolatey, so delicious. You are going to need an eight by eight inch square pan. You're also going to need parchment paper. Fold up the parchment paper, making sure it covers your dish. Now cut down the sides towards your pan on each side. Flip your pan around and repeat on the other side. You're going to fold up each side and you're going to crease it really well. Make sure that you repeat it with each flap. I know this looks a little awkward, but trust me, this process is worth it. I can't tell you how many times I've tried to get brownies out of the pan and they're just sticking and I get frustrated and it's a big mess. So this is worth it, guys. You're going to form it now to fit the shape of the pan. Make sure you fold each flap over the other. It's up to you, but I like to add a salt and pepper shaker just to weigh it down. Add six tablespoons unsalted butter, melted and cooled to the touch to a large bowl. Next, you're going to need three large eggs. Make sure they're room temperature. Two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. Using a whisk, mix this until it's nice and smooth. Our sugars include half a cup light brown sugar, one cup white sugar. Mix until nice and homogenous. And it's time to sift in our flour. You need three quarter cup all purpose flour. We're sifting it so we can get rid of any lumps. Next, we're ready for our cocoa powder. You're going to need half a cup high quality cocoa powder. We're going to get rid of all of those lumps again half a teaspoon of salt, and we're going to stir. We're not going to mix this all the way. We're going to mix it until it's almost just combined. We're ready for our chocolate chips. I have one and a quarter cup semi-sweet end milk chocolate chips. It's up to you, you can use whatever chocolate you prefer. I think dark chocolate comes off a little strong in this recipe. The milk chocolate, I think, just really goes well with the brownies. It makes them sweeter, but it's up to you. We're basically just going to fold in our chocolate chips now. You don't wanna overwork it. Guys, this is what a good brownie batter looks like. So thick, chocolatey, and fudgy. Let's go ahead and move Mr. and Mrs. Salt and Pepper, and we're going to pour in our brownie batter into our pan. I shouldn't say pour, I should say scoop in. It's going to be a really thick batter, and the bowl is going to be really heavy. Using a spatula, try to smooth out the top as best you can. We're going to bake this at 350 for 35 to 40 minutes, depending on your oven. So you're going to need half a cup caramel. I made this yesterday, um, it's homemade caramel. You don't have to make it at home, you can buy it in the jar at the store. Um, but homemade caramel is pretty good. Um, if you guys want me to post a video of making caramel, let me know below uh, down in the comment section and I'll do that for you guys. Let's go ahead and pour this over our brownies. Once your brownies are done baking and they're piping hot still, go ahead and pour your caramel over them. Your caramel should be nice and runny so that way it can spread easily. Make sure you don't burn yourself, but use your hands and move the pan around so the caramel can cover the top of the brownies completely. Once that's done, you're going to sprinkle a little bit of coarse kosher salt over the top. This part is optional, but I like a salted caramel on top. 
Also, you're going to let this cool completely before you try to take it out of the pan. You don't want it to be a big mess. Let the caramel set and try to be patient. Once your brownies have cooled off completely, you're going to take a knife and just cut it up any way you'd like. This recipe came out so chocolatey, guys. Amazing. For you chocolate lovers out there, I am starting an everything chocolate playlist. You should click on the link and check it out. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and bye for now.